Morning, Piggy. Morning. Or as I say, some morning. Yep. You can go morning with M E R, or you can go morning with M A W. Or morning with M O R. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not too swift on doing that one. That's just plain. Yeah. Plain game. Yeah. Oh, me, oh, my, oh. Another day, it's been cooling off. A little warmer this morning than it was the last two mornings, but that's all right, too. What shocks me is I'm getting out here in a t-shirt and shorts with it being 60 degrees and less normally 60 degrees I'm bundled up well up until the last two or three years yeah yeah this past year has been a lot different maybe after almost 40 years, well, over 35, my body's finally getting back used to this temperature back, uh, weather out here. For those that don't know, when Piggy and I got together, it could be 75 to 70 to 80 degrees outside, and he'd have on a thick leather jacket because he would be cold. No, 65 to 70. I'm just saying, at least, you know, you'd be wearing a thick leather jacket at 75 degrees outside. It didn't bother me. Yeah, if it dropped below 70 degrees, I'd definitely have me some warm clothes on. Oh, yeah. Well, there I was in shorts and hat top, you'd be bundled up, my breeches and coat. Yep. He would have had a bog, you know. Yep. So, if I spent that time in the desert, it messed me up. We don't have a bit of traffic here. Yeah, they slowed down for that one turning right. That truck back there, he went ahead and did the merge type thing on that. See, they've got that set up like an on ramp to a freeway. Oh, the problem is, there ain't enough length to that thing to get up any speed unless you're really, really romping really, really hard. Well, I can't romp this thing real hard because it, it likes to. Lord have mercy, who's booming? You don't hear that? I right hear I think it's behind us. It might be. Yeah, it's a little far behind us. He's bumming, got his window down, got his hand hanging out, smoking on something. That, that car right there that you see the headlight on, that's the one that's booming. Yeah, one right behind us. Yeah. You got all that noise. He's got cloudy headlights. Like I said, he had his hang, hand hanging out the window, smoking on something. That's a better say that. Hey, here he goes. Here he comes. There he went. There he went. Got him an older model little Honda Accord. Just a booming away. I feel sorry for you when you're my age. I think my hearing's bad. <laughs> I guarantee you his hair probably bad as yours is now. Probably. Uh, 
Oh, man. Well, sometime today or tomorrow, we got to make us a Lowe's run. Yep. I might look to see if they've got that 12 millimeter brake line over there when we do. So I can get to that. Get this thing loaded up, this video loaded up today, so it'd be out in the morning. That seemed to go pretty well putting it out there at that time yesterday morning, Tuesday. We got folks out in front of the house yesterday, and they'll be there today working on that fiber optic, putting it in. We still won't have that kind of service yet. They're just putting in the cable. They've got to get it put in up the whole road before we get service on it. Oh, I say there's a whole uh, lot of roads yeah. because the way it looks, they're, they're switching their whole system over to fiber optic. Which would be a good thing. I'm hoping that once they do that and they start upgrading the rest of the service, they'll bring in a new modem and we'll be popping. Maybe the end of the year, springtime, whatever. Well, it might be another year before they get it completely done. But either way, we know it's coming in. I asked them fellas coming out the driveway yesterday, we haven't bought it yet? Oh, yeah, loads. I said, how's, how's the insulation going? Slow. <laughs> I just laughed. They laughed. So, left out yesterday. It was funny. There was a little bit backhoe in his mama's driveway. I well, I put the guy on to get there. Well, there was one there, and there was one to the left of our driveway. Yeah. They, there was still one this morning. I'm going to see how that situation is when we get back. See if they've gotten out there yet and get started. Normally, I'm used to seeing them out by the time we leave out. I didn't see them out this morning. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Bless you. Oh, me. Folks, she's telling me the stuff she's seen on TikTok. Now, I'm not going to get into it. But... All I can say, bless you. All I can say about current situations and goings on is if you blindly follow certain things just because you don't like someone. You'd follow anything else just because you don't like someone. That's not very wise. You know, because those, those certain ones that you blindly follow are counting on you blindly following them just because you don't like someone. I'll give y'all some food for thought. <laughs> There's one world leader once upon a time. Oh, everybody loved him. He, he was talking their language, telling them everything they wanted to hear. Well, Mr. Rabbit. And, uh, and oh, he was perfect, folks. He didn't drink or smoke or do drugs or anything like that. He seemed to be a straight lay straight arrow. He plunged that country into poverty and dang near took over the world. His name was Hitler. He got folks to hate a specific group of folks and run off of that, blamed all their problems on that specific group. Turns out that specific group was not the problem. It was other things that was the problem. 
But since he was so straight laced and didn't smoke and didn't drink and you know had everything to the nines on his P's and Q's, everybody loved him. He had that talk game down. The talk game that I hear out there now by those who would have you blindly follow is exactly what Orwell described in the book, his book, 1984, of doublespeak. They're, they're saying a whole lot of words and not saying a thing. See all these people just blindly following that. Oh, wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? They didn't say nothing. Not anything of substance. Yet you would blindly follow that. And, uh, you know, that group you'd like to blindly follow, if you if you put up the things they want on their agenda next to a list of the uh, commie agenda, you'll find something. They're pretty much exactly the same. But because you don't like one, you'd blindly follow the other. Folks, that's not wise. You know, this, this last thing that we've had that we're hoping to get rid of, I knew was going to get it before they got it. Because God was going to let this nation have what it thought it wants to have. And now they see the results of that. But the hardcore of you out there, simply because you don't want to admit you're wrong and, and, and admit that you backed the wrong horse, doubled down and said, oh, it's been great. Prices of everything gone sky high. Oh, but the economy is doing better. No, it ain't. That's foolish to think that, much less speak it. That's denying reality, folks. And to deny reality is to believe the lie. And to believe the lie, biblically, is called being a reprobate. Because you believe the lie and not the truth. A lot of you believe in the lie, not because you believe the lie, but because to accept the truth, the reality of things, you'd have to admit you were wrong. And admitting we are wrong is the hardest thing for us to do. Because we have to admit we weren't right. Everybody likes to be right. It's nice, but I know I'm not happy. Now. But you know, that is a trait of the foolish to continue on believing the lie or supporting the lie simply to keep from being wrong. That is a trait of the foolish. And you, you got something out there that is totally contrary. You know, now, this is just for you believers out there. If you, if you believe in God and His Word, yet you would support something that is totally antithetical to God's Word, then your belief in God and what you claim to, your, is your walk in God is also a lie because you, you, you know your mouth speaks one thing but your actions show that you support everything that is against that you know why simply because you don't like one and make all sorts of I'm just going to say it hilarious claims about that one. The facts and the proof <clears throat> show that 
what you want to think of that one is not true, but is true of those that you want to support. That is, again, believing the lie. You've been deceived. You've been duped. You've had the wool pulled over your eyes. You've had a slick one, a uh, quick one pulled on you. That hurts your feelings. Sorry, not sorry. Truth of it is, is the truth of it. And that's the truth of it. You've uh, backed the wrong horse. Now you want to double down. Because you don't want to admit you're wrong. You don't want to actually look at things for yourself. You just want to go off of what others tell you to say. And you go with it because you don't like that one. I'm going to tell you all something. The first go around with that one, I wasn't going to go that route either because I didn't like that one. But then I started looking at that one. Started finding out some things about that one. I found out that one was one we needed. Not to mention it. Uh, the Holy Spirit told me that was the one. And that was the one I needed to go with. And uh, because that was God's choice. So, you know, I didn't I didn't go with that one at that time because of myself. But it was because it was revealed to me that that was God's choice. And then it seemed like most everybody turned on that one. They wanted something else. They you know, they they were like the Israelites. They wanted a king. So God allowed them to have a king. Started out okay, but in the end, it turned out uh, he weren't so good. God did the same thing this last go around. He let the people have what they thought they wanted, and we have paid for it. So I ain't going to worry about the turnout. I ain't going to worry, worry about how things turn out. You know, God's already decided what's going to be. People out here fighting over who's going to get it, who's this, who's that. God's already made that decision. Now, I'll still go do my civic duty and put my two cents worth in on it. But I know the decision has already been made. And, uh, there's enough people crying out. We might just get a reprieve this time. And uh, if we get that reprieve, a lot of y'all are going to be shocked as to who's actually done what and just how bad it is. Should that happen, I want y'all to think back on it and realize out of ignorance and childishness what some of y'all have supported. Now, should it turn out we don't get that reprieve and we keep getting more of the same? I hope y'all have enjoyed what America used to be because it'll be gone. And, uh, That'll be the end of that. But I'm also not worried about that because, you know, science, the, the times we live in indicate last last days type of times. And I look forward to going home. And uh, from what I can tell, research I've had, America won't be here when all that other stuff goes down. So y'all's searches for who a certain someone is, it's going to be in vain.
You won't be here no how. They might be. I won't be Iowa. Not if you live in here in America. America won't be here for that. America will be blown off the face of the map. Burned up. So, y'all think about it, Piggy Dushy. 